How's it going Samsung users? Today I wanted to take your phone to the next level by showing you how to customize it to the extreme. I'm not talking about changing up a few options in the settings or downloading a third party launcher or icon pack. No, this is next level stuff and you don't even need Root to follow this tutorial. If you want me to make a part two in the future, go ahead and drop a thumbs up on this video. So first let's get rid of all that Samsung bloatware. I recommend you download Package Disabler Pro because it gets the job done so easily. However, if your phone is rooted, just skip ahead because this method may not work for you. But for those who aren't rooted, there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind. First off, it's not on the Play Store since it removes system apps. I'll drop a link down below to the official website. Two, it does cost $3.56, but I really recommend the purchase. And three, you need to be careful not to disable any system apps that you aren't sure about. So for example, you have the option to disable the Android system package. Obviously, that's one of the main ones you shouldn't remove but you can easily disable the Bixby services, the Samsung email app, Samsung gallery, health, the One UI home launcher, smart things, sound alive, and more. All you need to do is tap on the check mark next to each app and that's it. Any package or service found within your Galaxy device can be disabled. And if you decide later on that you want to bring back the app or service, you can quickly enable it again. For whatever reason, this app even lets you disable the status bar, volume keys, navigation bar, and more. I'm not sure why you would do that, but you can. I also have to mention that when you first purchase the app, you'll receive a download link and the license key within an email. Once you install the app and type in that license key, it may show a button that says retry and tapping on it for the first few seconds might not do anything. I had this problem myself, but I found out that you just need to wait a few minutes for it to activate on its own and you need to keep pressing that retry button every minute until the app loads up. So don't freak out if it doesn't load up in the first few seconds, just give it some time to activate and on the rare occasion that you still experience issues, you can contact the developers for assistance. I'll drop their email in the description. Now I'm going to show you how to theme the entire UI and a ton of popular apps within your Samsung device. No, I'm not talking about the Substram theme engine. I'm talking about Hex Installer. This app works for all Galaxy phones running Android Pie, and the great thing about it is that you can customize everything to the extreme. You can change the color of the background, text, accent color, quick settings and notifications, you can theme third-party apps and even force them to become dark, change the system font, customize the navigation bar height, change the transparency of the quick settings panel, round the keyboard, and more. On top of being able to customize everything to your liking, you can also download and import hex themes or other plugins that other people have created. They have a whole library for you to choose from. My favorites include Pixel Q to make the interface look like the new Android Q update, OMOLED One UI to make every app and panel dark. It's perfect for saving battery. Paragus Green since it looks so abstract and material, and Saiyan Pride since it has a simple design with beautiful icons. All of these themes can be found within the Hexified app, which gets installed when you use the Hex Installer app, or you can look them up on the Play Store. The reason this app can theme everything is because once you hit build and install, it creates a custom Samsung theme in the Galaxy Store, which you can quickly apply. Before I show off even more amazing ways to customize your Samsung device, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Rap Power for sponsoring this video. Rap Power has a ton of tech products that they sell online, including file hubs, power banks, wireless chargers, and more. One of my favorite products is their six port file hub slash USB-C wall charger. You can plug in your phone and a USB hard drive up to four terabytes to the two USB transmission ports at the top. And with an app called UHub, you can quickly transfer any files from your flash drive to your phone or vice versa. You can also delete files, copy them, create folders, play media, and back up everything on your phone to the flash drive or restore it in the future with speeds that are up to 20 megabytes per second. You even have the option of auto backing up your data. On top of that, this thing is a charger so you can charge up to six devices at the same time. There's a USB-C port that has Quick Charge 3.0, a power delivery port that outputs 24 watts at max speed, two iSmart 2.0 ports, and two data transmission ports. That makes this beast a colossal 60 watt power station. The design is gorgeous and feels extremely solid. They even won an award for it this year by Red Dot Design. And I love that it's only four inches in length, so it doesn't take up too much space on my desk. Currently it's 40 bucks on Amazon with prime shipping, so definitely check it out if you need a charger slash file hub station. Anyways, Good Luck is another app that is great for customization and Samsung themselves developed this app. You can find it in the Galaxy Store and with it you can customize the look and features of a bunch of different One UI components. You can completely change the look of the lock screen, including customizing the clock, 
app shortcuts, etc. Customize the quick settings panel. Change the layout of the recents menu, which is my favorite feature since I can see more apps at once with the grid option. Enhance the multi-window experience. Create your own navigation bar. Rearrange the icons and add custom buttons to the nav bar. Use a feature called Nice Shot to enable native screen recording. It records in very high quality and lets you make custom drawings while you record. And there's so much more you can do. I don't want to go through every feature, but download it and explore it. If you own a Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus, then you need to download Heidi Hole from the Play Store. Here they post walls that are made to glorify the camera cutouts, or in some cases hide it, and all of these are extracted from a subreddit page called S10 Wallpapers. In the past, people have created and shared some really amazing walls here, and even though it isn't as popular as it used to be, there's still a consistent amount of walls that are being shared. Hopefully when more people get their hands on the Note 10, this page can rise up in popularity again so we can see even more creative walls. Last but not least, if you want to remap the Bixby hardware key to open Google Assistant, then this is how you do it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest Bixby version. Just go into the Galaxy Store, tap the three dotted menu, My Page, Update, and tap on Update All. Also, make sure you download Tasker in the Play Store. It does cost $2.99, but it's worth it if you're tired of Bixby. Also, scroll down to the bottom of the App's Play Store listing and become a beta tester. This step is very important, so make sure you don't skip it. And finally, download Google Assistant. Then open Tasker, create a profile, select Event, App, and then tap on Secondary App Opened. Go back, add a new task, tap the check mark, press the plus button, App, Launch App, and then look for Assistant. Go all the way back to the Tasker homepage and tap the check mark at the top. Then press the Bixby Hardware button, tap the three dotted menu, Settings, Bixby key, select the option that says double press to open Bixby, enable use single press, tap the gear icon, look for and select Tasker Secondary, and that's pretty much it. Now every time you tap on the Bixby button, Google Assistant will pop up instead of Bixby. Anyways, those are the best ways to customize Samsung's One UI software. If you guys enjoyed and want me to make a part two, drop a thumbs up on this video. Get subscribed with the notification bell turned on if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!